fans will have to provide proof of vaccination to attend any of those home games in person. And similar rules apply for any diners looking to eat at a restaurant indoors. One Toronto eatery announcing they're going a step further than the guidelines announced by the province. CTV's John Woodward is live outside at Bistro on Avenue with the details. John. Bistro on Avenue says they've had to hire an extra staff member just to check vaccine passports at the door, but they say they're not qualified to find out if someone's trying to cheat. Anyone going into Bistro on Avenue gets an early hint they take their masks pretty seriously. Masks have been proven to stop the spread of the virus, so I know I'll probably be wearing one for the next 10 years. And when the restaurant opens for indoor dining next Monday, Cindy Stern is going to be checking for vaccine passports. No exceptions. Just for now, I'm not going to be accepting doctor certificates as exemptions. I just want fully vaccinated people in here. For the past two years, we've been incredibly safe. Our staff are healthy, our customers are healthy, and I want to keep it that way, especially going into the winter. Ontario residents now must show proof of vaccination when going into non-essential venues and businesses. There are two legal exemptions, people who had an allergic reaction to a vaccine component and myocarditis or pericarditis after a first dose. The number of people um, who can get a true medical exemption is going to be very small. Dr. Suman Chakrabarty says those situations are so rare she might never see a customer in that situation. Stern says she's worried about unvaccinated people trying to cheat with pieces of paper her staff aren't qualified to understand. It could be abused and we don't have the time or resources to vet it. Disability advocates hope it will be easier to put an exemption into the upcoming digital vaccine passport expected next month. The government should have sorted this out while they were dragging their feet on deciding on the passport in the first place rather than this creating a barrier now. The last time Stern went public on her pro-vaccination stance, she got threats. We've already received those emails or those threats, which I don't take too seriously. It can go from anywhere, a brick through your window, to look out, uh, fires, whatnot. I'm just going to have to hopefully just take it with a grain of salt. But now she says the response to her tweet describing the situation is overwhelmingly positive. She says she won't turn a customer away. No matter what, they can still get takeout. Now, there have been reports of a GTA doctor pausing his practice after a crowd of people showed up looking for boilerplate vaccine ex uh, passport exemption notes. And a doctor in Florida was fired after offering uh, mask exemptions for $50 a note. Doctors here say the choices should be pretty easy. Either get vaccinated or just eat at home. Reporting live from Avenue Road, I'm John Woodward. Andrea, back to you.